Hello everybody and welcome to lesson 4 of the series Speak Spanish Now by Maestro de Souza. In this lesson we are going to talk about Los Colores, the colors. I'm going to teach you a simple but very very powerful technique so you can learn the names of the colors in Spanish. I'm going to teach you how to associate the name of the color in Spanish to the name of the color in English. Okay, and then I'm going to move on into something a little bit more challenging and I'm going to show you that there are two groups of colors in Spanish, technically speaking. The first one are just the normal colors like blue, green, black, white. Those colors, they have to agree with the noun. The other group are colors that come from flowers, drinks, or fruit. They don't agree with the noun. Okay, so I'm going to show you the difference between them, but I'm going to take uh, one step at a time to make sure that you can uh, understand what I'm saying. Okay, so let's begin. Los colores. In this page, I'm going to show you an easy way to remember the colors in Spanish. I'm going to help you to associate the color in English with the color in Spanish. Okay, let's begin with the first one. The first color is rojo. Rojo. What color in English do you know that starts with the letter R? Red. Rojo, red. Rojo, red. Negro, negro. When you think about negro, think about the night. When it's night, it's dark. Black. Negro, black. Negro, black. Amarillo, amarillo. What color in English do you know that has two L's? Yellow. Amarillo, yellow. Amarillo, yellow. Azul, azul. What color in English do you know that has the letter U and the letter L? Blue. Azul, blue. Verde, verde. What color in English do you know that has two letters E? Green. Verde, green. Verde, green. Gris. Gris. What color in English do you know that has the letter G and the letter R? Gray. Gris, gray. Gris, gray. Now let's continue and pay attention to the colors. Can you see that it agrees with the noun? Look over here in the sentence, la manzana es roja. Okay, you see manzana is a female word, it ends in A. And therefore, you need to have roja. The basic colors, the ones in this page and two more in the next page, they are basic colors, they have to agree with the noun. Okay, las uvas son moradas. Las uvas son moradas. La pera es verde. La pera es verde. Las peras son verdes. Las peras son verdes. Okay, to the next page. Blanco. Blanco. When you're thinking about blanco, Think about a blank space that you have to fill it out, okay? So that space is blank, is white. So blanco, white, blanco, white. 
Morado. Morado. Think about the purple heart. Okay, that has the color purple. Hence the name, the purple heart. Okay, the heart itself, the shape of the heart, can help you to think about the letter M, the top of the heart. So, morado, purple. Morado, purple. Café, marrón. Café, marrón. Those two colors, they mean brown. Of course, the color of the coffee is brown. And we also have uh, the color maroon, maroon, which is a brown color also in English. So maroon is maroon, which is a brown color. So maroon is brown. The next one is naranja and anaranjado. As you can see, I underlined the letters A, R, A, N, J. If you try to sound that out, you're going to have the sound orange, orange, which sounds just like orange. Okay, so naranja, orange, and anaranjado, which you can see the word naranja inside it, right? It's orange also. Naranja technically is the fruit orange. And the naranjado is the color. Then we have rosa, rosado, rosita. Rosa, rosado, rosita. Okay? Like rosa is like a rose. What color can a rose be? We know the red is already taken, right? In our list of colors. The white is taken. So basically what we are left with is pink rosa pink rosa pink okay rosado and rosita also pink now i, I want you to pay attention to the three less colors okay café naranja and rosa those colors actually actually they are name of something coffee is café, orange, naranja, and rose, a rosa, okay? So now we take those things and we use them as colors. So because of that, they behave in a special way. They behave a little different than the other colors, like the color azul or verde, okay? These three less colors, Café, naranja, and rosa, they don't vary. They don't vary. They don't have to have a plural form, okay, or a masculine form. No, they are what they are. Café, naranja, and rosa. Let's see some uh, sentences, okay, using those colors. Look over here. El triangulo es de color rosa basically that's what you're saying that the triangle is the color of a rose de color rosa okay or you can just say el triangulo es rosa so that's why it doesn't vary because that uh, de color is there and then you just use the word okay rosa uh, let's move on. La vaca y el oso son de color café. Or you can just say, la vaca y el oso son café. Okay, that's why it doesn't vary because you're saying they are the color of coffee. And it's always going to be like that. doesn't need to go to the plural. Okay, de color means the color of. Let's see. Uh, some more examples. El lápiz es de color naranja. You see, it doesn't vary. Naranja stays just like that, although you're talking about, you know, like el lápiz, which is a male word. El lápiz es naranja. You can say only that. It's the short form. El oso y la vaca son de color café. El oso y la vaca son café. 
Okay, let's go to the next page. Now let's use the colors in a sentence. Here in this page we have only the basic colors. Okay, they are just the regular colors. They don't come from a fruit or uh, a flower or a drink. So here they agree with the the noun okay the first one is la casa es azul the next one la manzana es roja las uvas son moradas el sol es amarillo la gorra es anaranjada okay anaranjada agrees because Anaranjada, it doesn't come from a fruit, so it agrees with the noun. If it is la gorra, you say anaranjada. If it was uh, el lapis, which it is mayo, would be anaranjado. Okay? Los zapatos son verdes, el tenis es rosado. Again, rosado. It's not the same, it doesn't behave as rosa, okay? Just rosa because it is a flower, but rosado has to agree with the noun. If it is male, it is male. If it is female, it is female, okay? Colors are adjectives in Spanish. Take a look at the position of the color. It comes after the noun, okay? The noun comes first. And then the color. Banana amarilla. Muchachos blancos. Dientes blancos. Zapatos negros. Carro rojo. Vestido rosado. Okay, let's go to the next page. Here on this page we have some more colors that they don't vary, okay, because they come from a fruit or from uh, a flower, alright, and we have those two first words over here, claro means light and oscuro means dark, okay, they can be used to give more information about a color, alright. In this case also the, the, the color is going to be uh, invariable, it's not going to vary. Okay, let's see the, the colors that do not vary. V rosa, again, we saw that already. Violeta, like a violet. Naranja and lila. Okay, these colors are special, they do not vary. Los sapatos, you see over here, los sapatos is in the plural, right? Son rosa, because basically what we are saying is los sapatos son de color rosa. Okay, you don't need to say de color, people just understand that it is there and rosa doesn't vary. Los coches son violeta, los pantalones son Naranja. Okay, using those uh, two words, you can come up with more colors. The two words that are on the top of the the page, claro and oscuro, you can have rojo claro, rojo oscuro. Okay, those colors they are not going to vary either. Okay, because you have oscuro giving more information about rojo so it doesn't vary it doesn't go to the the plural form it's going to be just as you see over here and stay in the masculine also la blusa es rojo oscuro then you have amarillo claro amarillo oscuro la banana es amarillo claro verde claro verde oscuro okay Los ojos son verde oscuro. Again, you have here los ojos, it's plural. Okay, but the color verde oscuro doesn't vary. Azul claro, azul oscuro. 
Las blusas son azul claro. Okay, las blusas is uh, feminine and it is in the plural, right? But azul oscuro, that's a color that because it is with azul with claro, it doesn't vary. Okay, you, you use like that. Next page. In this page, we are going to see the numbers, okay, the family of the 30s that I want to call. It's really simple. 30 is 30, 31, 30, e 1, 32, 30, e 2, 33, 30, e 3, 34, 30, e 4, 35, 30, e 5. 36, 30 e 6, 37, 30 e 7, 38, 30 e 8, 39, 30 e 9. Okay, we all know from the previous lessons that the letter Y means and. So in Spanish, what they are saying is 30 and 1, 30 and 2. So in between the two digits, okay, for instance, 33 you're putting the letter Y, okay? 34, 30 e 4. You have to do that. From the 30s up, you do that. You're going to use the Y, okay, in between the two digits. Okay, next page. Okay, and here we are at the last page. Let's uh, have a little dialogue, conversación. Let's practice the vocabulary in some sentences. Ok, vamos practicar el vocabulario en algunas oraciones. This is a simple dialogue between Marta and Maria, and they are talking about the colors. Ok, so let's see what's going on over here. Marta starts by saying, De que color es la casa? La casa es azul claro. De que color es el tomate? El tomate es rojo oscuro. De que color es la blusa? La blusa es blanca y roja. ¿Te gusta la blusa? No. A mí me gusta la blusa rojo vino. Okay, so it's a simple dialogue, but I, I wanted to use all those colors there that are not variable. Okay, they don't vary. Okay, they're not uh, like the regular colors, azul by itself or blanco. So in this way, you get a little practice. Okay, if you have any question, just send me a message, make some comments. Thank you for visit, visiting Speak Spanish Now. Do not forget to leave your comments and requests. Please subscribe. Adios, classe. Adios.